In this NSDC tutorial aimed at complete beginners, I will show you how to edit a sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well assuming you're using the free version, just close it down by selecting this button here. Come over to the tab that says blank project and you're going to need to just set a few things up you can leave it at project one if you've never used it before but I'm going to just change the uh, title you can put in what you want now the other thing to consider resolution this is more about the output rather than the videos that you're putting in so I've got this currently set up at full HD, 1920, 1080 pixels, aspect ratio 16.9. If you select the little arrow, you've got options here. So you could downscale this. I could actually make it um, a lower um, definition video. I could even upscale it to convince people that it's a uh, HD. Um, though this, although it says Ultra HD 4K, it isn't full 4k um, but anyway I'm going to leave this set at 1920 by 1080 frame rate not doesn't matter too much um, but I, I would suggest you match it to the frame rate of your videos so I've got this set at 25 frames per second you can change this to whatever you want to use so I'm going to leave this at 25 frames per second and just I wouldn't bother with this unless you particularly want to you can fill out all these details but I'm for speed I'm going to just select finish and what you'll get is a quite a complicated looking screen um, or editor so the first thing you need to do is bring some videos into the layer track now the easiest way to do that is just come up to the add object button select this and then select video now you'll need to navigate to where your videos is stored i'm just going to hold my left mouse button down and drag it over these drag my mouse over these four and then select open now unless you particularly want to go into doing transitions as a beginner I suggest you ignore this open in wizard and select add to layer and this will bring the videos all into the same timeline track but because of all these layers it's very small but what you can do if you place your pointer just at the bottom hold your left mouse button down you can drag this down and that makes things look a bit better you can also use this slider here to increase the length of the timeline okay now the one thing I found with this um, editor is the lag while dragging this along well the lag's terrible. I don't know why. I've tried changing the settings. Bearing in mind, this computer I'm using will happily edit 4K video um, without even using proxy clips. So I don't know what the problem is there. So you're going to have to use some workarounds if you want to use VSD. So get used to these buttons along here. So the first one I'm going to use is this one here is to the right of this little clock it says move cursor to previous keyframe and that will take me back to the beginning make sure the clip you want to edit is selected by left clicking on it and next to where it probably says 720p there's a little red arrow you can play a video by selecting this hit pause to stop at the point you want to start or remove a part of the clip making sure the clip is selected in this section here cutting and splitting look for the 
razor which has got a red highlighter around it, it says split in two parts select this again you'll need to do um, or rather you know, I want to select this end here the problem I got is I can't select it unless I place my pointer just below the bit I want to select hold my left mouse button down and drag a box over it hit delete and that will remove that section I'm going to snap this up to the beginning and I'm going to press play to the point where I want to finish and then hit, it, hit the play button again to pause it back up to the split into parts razor and again drag your mouse holding your left mouse button down over the section you want to remove and hit delete drag your next clip to snap it up and I'm just going to skip back a bit and again this one I'll play stop cut again drag a box over the end you want to remove hit delete and press play stop now this hasn't been selected so I'm going to just left click on it to select it hit cut and draw a box over the end I want to remove and hit delete and I'll just snap this one up I'm going to bring this video um, up to the end of the second one and for ease I'll just come back now this clip I'll just play it a minute is I left the camera running because I, I couldn't see the train behind this carriage and I wanted to catch it as it came out from behind this carriage so it's quite long and I can't drag this to um, sort of speed uh, speed through the clip so the only option you've really got is either a press play and watch the whole clip or if you come along to the button that says move cursor to next second you can actually just keep clicking on this and you should get through the clip quite quickly this is quite a long clip and I've gone too far so I'm going to go move cursor to previous second and that's where I'm going to cut this clip split into parts drag your mouse over the section you want to remove hit delete and freeze I'm just going to grab this up and drag this to roughly the beginning hit play and again I'm going to use this move cursor to next second and keep going through it and I'll cut here Again, drag a box over, hit delete, and I'm just going to reduce this in size so I can see the last clip. Now, one of the problems again with this one is it went on for ages because again I left the camera running, so I am going to use this button here move to next second and I'm just going to keep hitting it it will come through quite quickly this is quite a long bit um, clip so I'm going to cut it here again split drag over hit delete I'll drag this to here move the cursor back and this time I think I'll just press play 
until the train gets to the point I want it to finish. That'll do. Again, split into parts, draw a box over and hit delete. And I'm going to just use this move cursor to previous keyframes to skip through and play the video just to make sure I'm happy with that. I won't play it all just to give you an idea of what is going on. Yeah, that looks good. We'll go with that. Okay, rendering the video. Top of the screen button says export project select this and you've got options up here different options I'm not going to suggest what you use I'm going to select to MPG down here you've got profiles you can select the little arrow all profiles you can, whatever you want to choose so let's go all profiles and you've got the option of the resolution as well so if you select this arrow here you've got different ones so i'm going to i don't know let's select pal compatible highest quality that should do for this tutorial you, you your choices are infinite i'm not going to go into what you may or may not want to use so hopefully that should be everything set up export project this button here select this and because they want you to buy the pro version you'll get this banner so just select continue and your video should start rendering I'll come back to this when it's finished rendering once your video is finished rendering You'll say conversion was completed so just left click OK and hopefully you should have su successfully edited a sequence of videos obviously not like this but this is the video I've just edited hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers